They should have more cops on the subway. Subway crime affects everybody, and it's scary for just about anybody, especially younger riders in New York City. 12-year-old Jarrell is a frequent passenger. Sometimes I'm really scared to take the train because I don't know if I'm safe or not. That's why I, like, I always try not to talk to nobody when I'm on the train. I don't look at nobody, don't look at nobody, don't give nobody no funny faces or nothing. I just try to keep to myself so I can be safe. The latest statistics from the state show more people are riding the subways than have in years. And with more people comes more crimes. So far this year, nine people have been killed on New York City subways. And more than 400 have been victims of crimes. That's more than one person a day somewhere in the city. One of the latest incidents was a knife attack in Harlem. That happened Friday morning near the West 125th Street and St. Nicholas Avenue platform. What makes that case especially concerning is that police believe it was a random attack. A man in his 50s was stabbed in his upper back by a total stranger who, for some reason, wanted to argue with him. That victim needed a few stitches but is expected to be okay. Meanwhile, the attacker is still on the loose. In the past two days, we've had stabbings, robberies, and even somebody beat up for asking a couple of people to turn down their music. That case happened in Manhattan as the train was approaching the Penn Station platform. A 78-year-old man was brutally assaulted by a younger man and woman he was with after he simply asked them to turn the music down that they were blaring on the subway. Riders tell PIX11 enough is enough. The situation is just disgusting. It's out of control. It's not right to passengers. We pay a fare, a fare for 275 to go from point A to point B. The MTA and the city of New York should guarantee our safety when we travel down here.